Today I wanted to talk about the concept of putting yourself out there and letting yourself be seen by other people. Um, I think that people who put themselves out there or put their most vulnerable selves out there often struggle with this kind of concept and especially on YouTube. I think that the more you put yourself out there, you put your thoughts or your art or whatever it is that you choose to do, when you start to put yourself out there, at first it starts off as just kind of like a reflection of you. You know, you're sitting in front of a camera and you're just talking about whatever it is that you, you want to talk about or you're just making whatever it is that you want to make. And then the more people that see you, the less it feels like it's about you. And my biggest dilemma is having those eyes on me is something that is scary. Um, I think it's, and, and scary in the sense of like, imagine like having all of those eyes on you constantly almost picking and choosing and dissecting every single little thing that you say, whether it's right, whether it's wrong, and whether how you feel is right or wrong, or whether your piece of art is good or bad. The more you put yourself out there, the more you open yourself up to criticism. And the more you lose that sense of sort of authenticity that you feel like you're fostering with the camera. And what's wonderful about YouTube is that we can just talk about whatever it is that we want to talk about or show whatever it is that we want to show. And the more that people like us, the more that people want to tune in, for me, it gets all the more scarier because the more people see you the less you think about yourself and the more you think about what other people might want to see or might thinking about how you want to showcase who you are to the people that are watching and for me that kind of stresses me out you know I don't want to do that. I don't want to become a, a person that's just like consistently thinking about doing things for the sake of being perceived a certain way. I just want to kind of be and do whatever it is that I feel like doing or making whatever videos I feel like doing. And if people resonate, if people like it, that's fucking great. And if not, oh well, it is what it is. But to put yourself out there is such a vulnerable act. Depending, especially depending on, on what you choose to do, if you choose to talk about life or if you choose to show your art or anything that's the semblance of vulnerability of who you are, there's a sort of vulnerability that you have to show to people. You have to show that part of yourself, that part that's hidden within you, that part that makes you who you are, that, that makes you this emotional or flawed human being. And so is it worth it? Is it worth it to put yourself out there, to show the world whatever it is that you feel like showing the world? Is it worth it? And some might say yes, and some might say no. I don't know yet if it's worth it. My concern is not losing my sense of individuality, not losing what makes me, me. I'm not acting or not being like anybody else for the sake of pleasing others. My whole life, my whole life has been for the sake of others. My whole life, I've been a people pleaser, trying to make sure that people like me, trying to make sure that I don't ruffle any feathers or I don't piss anybody off. 
but this, I don't want this to be that. I don't. I just want to be. And yes, does it get scary when there are people and there are more eyes on you? And I sometimes I think of like, sometimes I'm sitting here and I'm thinking of, of PewDiePie and I'm like, how the fuck does he do it? How the fuck did he did it? How the fuck did he do it? How did he deal with this immense pressure and this immense like, fame that was thrusted upon him how did he do it and it takes a special person to do it you know and sometimes I think to myself it's worth it I don't know if it's because I have something important to say or because I think I can provide people with anything I don't know I don't think I can do anything but just sit here and talk and you take whatever it is that you feel like taking from what I have to say. And something that a lot of us, or I imagine a lot of us come on YouTube for, is to be seen, is to be understood by people, is for people to come and, and, and watch our work and say, yes, I get you, I understand you, I know where you're coming from, or I've experienced such and such thing. And what a, what a wonderful thing to be part of this world, of this space, where we can try to understand one another. But it's not all, it's, it's not all perfection all the time either. It opens yourself up to criticism, to all the bullshit, all the hatred, all the, the fucking creepy messages it opens you up to a lot of things but I still think it's worth it I still think it's worth it to put yourself out there to let yourself be seen for who you are I still think it's worth it because without this without our ability to communicate our utmost feelings or who we are or what we think or our vulnerabilities or our dark deep selves or even just sharing the stuff that we make the art that we make the things that move us music that we make without this there would be no life there would be nothing to live for so i think yes is it scary to put yourself out there it is and for me, I think about it all the time, how scary it is. Sometimes I sit here and I'm trying to get ready to film a video. And sometimes I think like, oh, oh my God, like, how do I want to come across? And how do I want to be? And what do I want to say? And I start to get into my head, but fuck it. Fuck that. Let people see you for who you are. I want to let people see me for who I am. And if people can relate, if people can understand, if people can come on here and share their stories with me, all the better. And I understand why people are afraid to put themselves out there. I understand why that can be scary. Because then it doesn't feel like its own little special thing anymore. Kind of like a, like a well-kept secret almost. And that's up to you to choose. What it is that you want to do. Do you want to let yourself be seen by others? Do you want to let yourself be seen in its utmost vulnerability? And it be the fucking most difficult thing you've ever done, but also like the most amazing thing? Or do you want to keep it all to yourself? I think both are valid things. And I think that if you want to put yourself out there, if you, and it, this can, 
this could be for anything just to put yourself out there it doesn't have to be necessarily like youtube or art or anything but even just putting yourself out there in the real world trying out different things or trying out another job or doing another hobby or whatever it is that you feel like doing trying something new and putting yourself out there and and even like opening yourself up to people i think is such a uh how can i say like a unappreciated quality <laughs> a very unappreciated quality and if you let yourself be seen for who you are as much as you possibly can because we're limited right we're limited with what we can show on the internet we're limited to showing certain parts of ourselves through how we film ourselves and that's normal right but if you're able to portray an image of yourself as as authentic and as true to who you are as you can I think that that helps others do the same. And that's why I think that amidst all the critics, <laughs> amidst all of the anything, all the stress, all the worries of this person finding my channel or people commenting or people blah, blah, blah. I think in the end it's worth it to let yourself be seen. Whether it's through our friendships in real life, being open and honest and vulnerable with them, or in front of a camera, being open and honest and vulnerable in front of a camera. I think in the end it's worth it. I hope. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, um, just some thoughts I've had for the last few days. Anyways, I'm Alex. I make videos about random things that I feel like talking about. <laughs> and I also stream video games. There's no rhyme or reason for the things that I do. I kind of just do them. Because for a long time, I avoided doing it. For a long time, I hid myself from the world because I was ashamed of who I was. I no longer care about that. I care about just doing whatever it is that I fucking feel like. So, anyway, that's it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye.